searching for prey in large home ranges. Males are more sedentary and may instead establish much smaller territories in areas with plentiful prey and access to females. The cheetah is active mainly during the day with peaks during the dawn and dusk. It feeds on small to medium sized prey mostly weighing under 40 kilograms which is 88 pounds and prefers medium sized undulates such as impala, springbok and thompson's gazelles. The cheetah typically stalks its prey to within 60 to 70 meters which is 200 to 230 feet. Charges towards it, trips it during the chase and bites its throat to suffocate it to death. An intimidating way to die. It breeds throughout the year. After a gestation period of nearly three months, which is not too long, a litter of typically three or four cubs is born. Cheetah cubs are highly vulnerable to predation by other large carnivores such as hyenas and lions. They are weaned at around four months and are independent by around 20 months of age. Interesting, so a fairly, a relatively short uh, uh, upbringing compared to, I think, some of the other large cat species. The cheetah occurs in a variety of habitats, such as savannas in the Serengeti, arid mountain ranges in the Sahara, and hilly desert terrain in Iran. The cheetah is threatened by several factors, such as habitat loss, conflict with humans, poaching, and high susceptibility to diseases. Interesting. I did not know cheetahs were particularly susceptible to disease. Historically ranging throughout most of the sub-Saharan Africa and extending eastward into the Middle East and Central India, the cheetah is now distributed mainly in small, fragmented populations in Central Iran and Southern Eastern and North Western Africa. In 2016, the global cheetah population was estimated at around 7,100 individuals in the wild. It is listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. In the past, cheetahs were tamed and trained for hunting unchallenged. Move. 
South African specimen known as the woolly cheetah. Named for its notably dense fur, this was described as a new species Felix or Phyllis Lanay by Philip Sclatter in 1877. But the classification was mostly disputed. There has been considerable confusion in the nomenclature of cheetahs and leopards. Miocene, 
which is roughly 8.25 million years ago. Some suggest that North American cheetahs possibly migrated into Asia via the Bering Strait, then dispersed southward to Africa through Eurasia at least 100,000 years ago. Some authors have expressed doubt over the occurrence of cheetah-like cats in North America and instead supposed the modern cheetah to have evolved from Asian populations that eventually spread to Africa. The cheetah is thought to have experienced two population bottlenecks that greatly decreased the genetic variability in populations. One occurred about 100,000 years ago that has been correlated to migration from North America to Asia and the second 10,000 to 12,000 years ago in Africa probably as part of the late Pleistocene extinction event. We move now to genetics. The diploid number of chromosomes the cheetah is 38, the same as in most other felids. The cheetah was the first felid observed to have unusually low genetic variability among individuals, which has led to poor breeding in captivity, increased spermatozoal defects, high juvenile mortality, and increased susceptibility diseases and infections. A prominent instance was the deadly feline coronavirus outbreak in the cheetah breeding facility of Oregon in 1983, which had a mortality rate of 60% higher than the recorded for previous episodics of feline infectious peritonitis in any field. The remarkable homogeneity or homogeneity in cheetah genes has been demonstrated by experiments involving the major histocompatibility complex MHC. There are two words in that sentence that we can break down to find their meaning. Homogeneity. Homogeneity. Homo means the same. And genity would mean gene. That uh, would mean genes, genetics. Though, so the remarkable homogeneity. How similar their genes are. That's what that means. And histocompatibility. Histocompatibility complex. Well, histo doesn't actually mean in this case history. It's actually talking about histology which is the study of microscopic cells. So histocompatibility would be how uh, compatible their cells are in the complex. Unless the MHD genes are highly homogenous in a population skin graphs, exchange between a pair of unrelated individuals would be rejected. However, skin grafts exchanged between unrelated cheetahs are accepted well and heal as if their genetic makeup were the same. Interesting. The low genetic diversity is thought to have been created by two population bottlenecks from 100,000 years to 100 20,000 years ago, respectively. The resultant level of genetic variation is around 0.1 to 4% of average living species, lower than that of the Tasmanian devil, Virunga gorillas, Aima tigers, and even 